What's up guys, I'm bringing you a Sorcerer build for the Elder Scrolls Online for the Shadows of the Hist update. So let's get into it. Alright, so I'm a High Elf Sorcerer. Um, your options are Breton, High Elf, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Either one of those is good. You can also use Dark Elf if you really want to, but it's a third choice. I'm 64 points in the Magicka, and um, unbuff we have 36k. Magicka, 37k on Destro, 25k health, then um, 4, 13k stand, which is actually decent for um, just breaking free and whatnot. <clears throat> Low spell damage, but it gets a little bit higher, I'll show you later. And uh, decent resistances. Actually, uh, buff, they're pretty good for a sword. And 40k, uh, 40% 40 40 crit, and 17 Hey Magicka, so not bad. Now um, I'm gonna get into gear. So two piece, Malakina, um, one heavy, one medium. Doesn't really matter the order. And uh, if you want to go like all damage, use the vines on the small pieces and fuse on the big pieces. And if you want to be more tanky, just use and pen on everything. So you have two piece Malakina and then five piece Julianas on the body. Make sure it's max magic and chance on everything. Then, um, this is where you can kind of choose what you want to do, but this is a little bit cheaper, in my opinion. It's up to you though. Um, so you have three pieces of elf bane on your accessories, and then one weapon of each. <clears throat> or you can do willpower and a maelstrom. It's really up to you. Um, make sure you have magic recovery on everything. If you wanna, we have one thousand seven hundred. Recovery. So if you wanna, you know, drop a little bit, you can get more weapon or sp spell damage. You can hit around 3k if you put one spell damage glyph. So it's up to you. Now, uh, ideally, you would want sharpened on your um, inferno staff and defending on your restoration. <coughs> so let's get into the skills. Um, so the first ability is crystal frags. Um, it does really good damage. It stuns. Everybody's seen it. Then, um, that Netherville detonation, which is kind of like controversial. Uh, you know, some people think it's bad, some people think it's good, but it's just set up to set up burst. <clears throat> so, you know, you, you apply detonation and curse, and after around four, or pretty much three and a half seconds, based on the uh, cast time. It all procs at the same time, so if you fire frags and all these hit, you'll be doing <clears throat> fully buffed um, at least 20k damage to somebody. Um, so yeah, it's a it's really good burst. <clears throat> On our fourth ability, we have Structured Entropy, which uh, is just damage over time, and it gives us major sorcery, increasing our spell damage, <clears throat> and max health by 8%, which is really good. Then we have um, Bound Aegis, which increases our max magicka by 8% and gives us some resistances. On our back bar, we have Registration Staff, which we have um, Hardened Ward. You can also run Hardest Magicka if you're not liking your Magicka recovery, but this is just a bigger shield in general. Um, you get a 33% increase, so like an 11k shield. <clears throat> so it's pretty good. And uh, yeah. So you have Healing Ward, which shields you, it's just another shield. Then Mutagen, which uh, is better than the other morph because it heals you if you get really low and removes harmful effects. Then Boundless Storm, which gives you more resistances and speed. <coughs> and it's just a decent AOV. Um, and then Bound Angus again. And you have to have Bound Angus on both, you know, so you keep it up. Um, for the first one, I have Ice Comet for the first ultimate on the first bar. Uh, it's just a good burst. So if you can act, if you activate detonation, curse, call in a comment, and then shoot a frag, nobody's going to survive that. You burst. You can burst the best with this class. <clears throat> and then we have a uh, storm atronach, which is a uh, it's just a good back bar ultimate. You know, use it if you're in trouble. Now uh, since we're running um, medium, heavy, and light, make sure you get all these passes. They all help. So yeah. Now I'm going to show you the buff stats. 
and uh, for you to get the max amount of stats, you need to have uh, your Malakina propped and your uh, your structured entropy on. So let me find an enemy here. Of course, I can't find one now. <clears throat> uh, all right, so there you go. So if you activate entropy and light attack twice. You have 29k of spell damage, and with a spell damage glyph, you can have 31k. Not bad. So this is the um <clears throat> the combo you use. So detonation, curse, and then call in the comment. And there you go. You saw that. That just did. Like, had it been a real player, I would have done 40k damage, which nobody's living through. So yeah, it, the burst is really really good. Now, uh, last I have. Champion points I need to show you. <clears throat> so, uh, on live game, you put 100 Arcanist and then 77 into the Magician. Um, 100 into Elemental Expert and then 77 to Elfborn. And <clears throat> lastly, don't put any into these since we're using shields. <clears throat> we want to put 100 in a Bastion. Uh, you can also do he puts on the quick recovery for healing, and uh, yeah, that's like you know, with if you put a hundred in here, yeah, I guess you can split the other ones and these two, or even resistant. But yeah, that's your choice. So I think I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, <clears throat> you guys just ask in the comments below. And uh, thanks for the support recently on my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And if you I'm uploading more builds, so just subscribe if you want to see more, and that's it guys, thanks, peace.